Hi everybody, welcome to 2023 and welcome back to Two Tall Stitchers. I'm Jennifer, this is my mom Carol, and we are very happy to be back for episode 33 of Two Tall Stitchers. We've been having a good time, yep. um, close to our two year anniversary of this. Yes. And uh, thank you very much for all of you for joining us today. Going into this, we think it's gonna be a long one. You've probably seen the timestamp on it already, so you guys know how long we blather on, but uh, <laughs> we'll see. So. Um, let's jump right into things. Um, first, I want to say thank you. We've had several other floss tubers mention us. Um, uh, Liz at Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch, Michelle at Penny's Daughter Shares, and if you've seen her video, you know she and I are in cahoots right now, and I'm going to talk about that later. Um, Tammy, who's Crafty Boy Mom, the Danish Stitcher, and Liana's Corner. So thank you all very much for the mentions and the tags. Wow. Um, yeah, it's yeah. been been busy yeah. days. Yeah. So um, thank you again. <laughs> and then we have several new subscribers. And this morning I was on our channel. I don't always do that before we film, but I thought I would say welcome to some of our newest You're subscribers. Good. So I want to say hi and thank you for subscribing to Rita, Jerry, Natalie, Kim, Melissa, and Jill, and lots of others as well. Yes. Um, welcome. We're yes. glad to have you. We hope you you come back um, if you can live through this one. We have, <laughs> we have tons of stuff. It's yes. like we haven't been the here for months. The table is full. People say that all the time, and I never understood yeah. until we did our floss too yeah. how much you can put on one table and it, how yeah. precariously it can be perched. I was going to say, if you hear a crash, it <laughs> yeah. could be any one of many things. Yeah. Any one of many things. All right. Well, let's start with our quilt of the day. Today, it's your quilt, so tell yep. us all about it. This was a mystery quilt from... Um, I think it was a mystery. Fort Worth Fabric Studio. I don't know that it has a label on it. I did it ages ago. and um, No label. No label. But a really pretty but, back. Yeah, it's a pretty Look back. pretty back. Yeah. And um, I don't know what to tell you about it. I, I really like their, they have a lot of small quilts. I have another one somewhere that I should dig out and work on this year. Ha uh ha. -huh. And uh -huh. add it to my list that Jennifer created for me. And, um, <laughs> and but I, I had fun making it and... I really like it and it'll be a nice uh, up in February for Valentine's Day. Yeah. Not that I, I don't have a lot of Valentine's stuff, but I really like this quilt. Yeah. And yeah. it looks like it was custom quilted by yeah. someone. I think Paul Wyckoff did it. Okay. I think. Yeah. 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 Lots of hearts in the quilting. And red thread in the quilting. Red thread. But yeah. around here it's stitched in the ditch in white thread. So oh, okay. Some white, some red. I haven't looked at it in a while. It's a really, really cute quilt. I got to silence my phone. Okay. Hang on. There, All right. Now well, I won't get in trouble. Well, where you while you do that, um, <laughs> we'll talk about some life updates. The last time we were here, it was only three weeks ago. It was the day before Christmas, but it feels like it's been like six, eight mm -hmm. weeks since mm -hmm. then. We've had a lot of life that's gone on. <laughs> um, we ever. Mostly good. One kidney stone. Still a kidney stone. Trying to hang on. Um, but we had Christmas. It was super duper cold last time. And do you want to give them an update on your pipes? Because oh, you yeah, told them at yeah. the very end, we have no water. We have no water upstairs. And um, so I went downstairs and we have a little portable heater that we put in the bathroom downstairs. And so I brought that up and plugged it in and put it on high. Pointed and it towards hot, the wall. <laughs> pointed it towards the wall and um, closed the door. So it was like a sauna in there. It was really quite pleasant. Yeah. And in a couple of hours, I had a little trickle of cold water coming out of both bathrooms. And it's interesting because the smaller bathroom is an inside bathroom. I don't know why exactly. Yeah. They must why be those fed froze. from the same I, pipes. I don't know. Yeah. That's from the kitchen, though. It's from the sink. Oh. Yeah, anyway, it's weird. I don't know. But anyway, and then a few hours later, I had hot water, which was really good because my brother-in-law and my two nieces and the three little kids were coming up on the yeah. next day. And I really hated to call and tell her. I don't know what you're going to do, but we don't have any water upstairs yeah. and we're all going to be using one bathroom, which would have been interesting because there would have been yeah. what, seven, six, eight, ten of too us. Many 12, uh, too many people. Too many people for one bathroom. bathroom. Yes. So anyway, thank God it defrosted. It didn't, as far as I know, knock wood. Uh, there's no, um, no damage. No, damage yeah. no, I haven't seen anything in the water, or, you know, in the walls, any water marks or anything. I haven't heard any gushing. Yeah. So, yeah. So thank so God that that's was good. good. Yeah. That was the, the couple days. That was two days before they came. Yes. And then, and then we had Christmas Day and then they came, came and we had a day and a half with them. Mm. And then the next day, <laughs> you just hadn't had enough attention. Mm -hmm. So you had a kidney stone that decided yep. to make its way down from your kidney. Yep. And uh, we had a 
slightly boring but then very entertaining <laughs> afternoon in the emergency room um, that included my dad almost falling out of the chair because he was leaning so far over to see what was going on in the hallway. There was some yelling, there was some disagreements between the um, EMTs and yeah. firemen were there and the doctors. It was yeah. it was kind of nuts. And my comment was, and people ask, and how did you break your shoulder? Well, yeah. I was leaning out of the chair trying to see what was going on and I fell off. We yeah. were there for Carol's kidney stone, but we, you know, I but, fell yeah. off the chair and broke my yeah. shoulder. But good news, but he didn't fall off. She the made chair. him move the chair. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and uh, and your kidney stone is just hanging on. Oh, it's still there, it's but still not there. causing pain. So not right good. now. It's not, not at moving. the moment. Yes. So, I go back in yeah. two or three weeks and have another CT scan. I've already had x-rays and I've had lots of kidney stones. This is not my first rodeo. Yeah. I've had at least 10. I've had and you've several been to up the here. rodeo several times, yeah. coincidentally. <laughs> <laughs> not with my kidney stone. No. But yeah, so I just bring it with me, you know, yeah. when I go somewhere and yeah. and uh, it, and it'll you, be fine. You keep stocked up on now anti-nausea and pain pills. So oh that, yeah, I got yeah, lots of hydrocodone. Yeah. I can handle anything, yeah. anything. Um, and then the day after your <laughs> kidney stone was your birthday. Yes, it and was. And we had, was that on your birthday that we went around and did shopping or was that the next day? Mm, I can't might remember. Have been my birthday. We had a day where yeah. we ran around, we had lunch. Both, yeah. both of my kids went with us and one of our really good friends, Pam. And the only reason the kids went is because we went to Nukes for lunch <laughs> yes. and they both love Nukes. Yeah. And so when you ask them now, if they want to go, you know, like on a mystery trip or do you want to go to the quilt store Quilt's with us? It's like, no. Shop. And then when you say, well, we were thinking about having lunch at Nukes. Oh, okay. We're okay. in. Yeah. They'll go and, and they don't complain. Jack just sits yeah. in the car like this while we're inside. Yeah. And Jenna came into back door, which is where we went. Well, and because it was my as birthday. As a result, I have some stash yeah. or some haul from the quilt <laughs> but, shop. But uh, yeah. she went in because they've known her since she was pregnant, and so yeah. seventeen years we've been yeah. going there at least. Mm -hmm. And so they were like, "Really? Oh my gosh! What happened? Yeah. You used to be." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was fun to go see Terry and Linda and and, and that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Jenna enjoyed that. And then we had a nice dinner out. Yes, and, we did. Um, we did. I'm going to tell the funny story of where we went. So my dad has kind of a limited palate. He doesn't <clears throat> care for spicy foods. Gravies, casseroles. Yeah. Pasta. Mexican, Italian. Cheese. So we decided for her birthday we were going to go to Cheddar's. And it made him very nervous because he thought the only thing on the menu at Cheddar's was cheese. cheese. Yeah. <laughs> He asked me before we left, and they were coming up, he said, or we were going to get them, and he said, do they have anything else on the menu besides cheese? I said, it's the name of the restaurant. <laughs> and then, <laughs> when, once we got our food, and I don't know what, he got a steak or yeah. something. Salmon. No, he got a piece it's of fish. Salmon. Yeah. Salmon. And, um, I mean, nobody, I think one person got stuff with cheese. And he just kept saying over and over again, well, that was a really good restaurant. He was shocked. <sighs> That a restaurant named after cheese could be good. <laughs> I'm telling you, there is not enough wine in this world. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so it was then, a fun birthday. Yes. We had a good time. Yes. And um, we both had a very quiet New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. um, I, <coughs> I tried to go to bed at 11, but my kids wouldn't let me. They said I had to stay up. So I literally, like, I went upstairs, brushed my teeth, washed my face, had my pajamas on. <laughs> I said, Happy New Year to everybody, and I went right back upstairs <laughs> and went to bed. <laughs> and then um, <clears throat> and then I went back to work, unfortunately. Yeah, um, Monday. Yeah, and uh, the man, that stinks you. after having two weeks off. I, <laughs> I do like my job, but I was happy to have a couple of weeks. I could have used two more weeks. Yeah. Well, yeah. the deal is that she had vacation left to use. And on top of that, they give them the week between Christmas it's and New, New Year's, Year's off. off. Yeah. So it's really, you know, nice. It's nice. And, but um, yeah. So I went back to work. It started with a bang. Um, I won't talk much about my job, but I'll just say, you know, people who are like sliding into the New Year real slow did not happen for... <laughs> My job was a very, very, very busy, uh, actually, it's the first two weeks of the year. So um, I'm looking forward to a three-day weekend this weekend because we get Martin Luther King Jr. Day off. So, um, yeah, and then at the end of the, the first week of the year, we had our Girl Scout, She and Me Bingo, 
um, which we used to call mother daughter yeah, bingo, but we, anymore. we expanded it a little more because not every girl has a mother that she would bring with her. Some have a grandma or an aunt or mm -hmm. an older sister or someone else yep. who's special in their life. Fine. So, fine. um, so we had she and me bingo, which my troop ran for the last time yeah. and they had a good time and it was very fun. Um, and then the other thing we did, was it last weekend or did we do this when I was off? We cleaned up your sewing room. We did that on a week ago Friday. So I was off still. Yeah, because you came in the store. You and Jenna were counting. We That's were all right. counting. That's right. I counting. forgot about that. God, I love inventory. <sighs> <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. for those who may not know, Mom works um, one day a week at our local needle workshop for Snickety Stitchers and it's introduced us time. all to the fun of inventory. <laughs> Jenna, thank God, loves to count the DMC yeah. because I think I told you last year when somebody asked her how many there were or something, it was like 3,347. Yeah. And so this year I thought, oh, she's not going to do that. And I said something about, you want to do the DMC, Jenna? She said, sure. sure. And we were like, yeah. okay. I said, give it to her. Yeah. So instead, Teresa and I counted books. And then yesterday, Vicki and I counted all the books in the sale loft, which was an unbelievable number. And I've counted yeah. thread until I'm blue in the face. Oh, my yeah. Lord. But we're almost finished. And thank God. Yeah. Only once a year. And then it's the, not the sale end of the world. comes up at the end it's of January, the, the last The Super weekend. Bowl or the Sports Widows sale, because we can't yeah. call it a Super Bowl sale. Yeah. yeah it comes up uh, in January. And we're open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for that. Yeah, and the so, last weekend, because I know some I people who are close to us might drive yeah, up for that. Yeah. Yeah. And it's 20% off your whole purchase, purchase. or 25% off your most expensive yeah. item. Yeah. So, so yeah. it's a good deal. I yeah. often use that to get a big piece of fabric for something I'm going to stitch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, before good. we go on, I want to say oh, yes. we did get some lovely cards. We got this from Sue. A, a really cute snowman. So yes. we're probably going to, I'm going to leave that out for we, quite a while. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to see that card again, Sue. <laughs> and then, and te but tell them where it came oh, it, from. It came from, this was exciting. Look at all the stamps. Yes. It came from Zambia. Yeah. So that was really Never exciting. Never had mail from Zambia. That was though. exciting. Very exciting. We get mail from Finland, but we don't yes. get mail from Zambia. And then the last time we did comment that we got a lovely card from, I thought it was Joe and Jennifer said it was Joan and it turns out I had the card sitting on the table but of course I was too stupid to look at it so anyway here it is thank you Joan yes. that was a very nice card we really appreciated it so and I got a card from Joan as yes. well and that's still up in my kitchen I tape up all my Christmas cards over um, an archway that I have so that's still up there well I had it up here since the last yes. filming so yes. that we we knew so all right, we'll go into questions in a minute, but first we thought we'd show you some previous finishes as we were picking up the Christmas stuff. There's a couple pillows that I said, oh, we should show these. Okay, yeah. so this one is was stitched, did we decide, in 1993, and there's hair on it. Probably not from 1993. No. And when I went to school at Alma College in Michigan, there was a cross-stitch shore down the street my freshman year they moved after that and I took this class um, to learn how to do this design I have no idea what it is but the funny thing I remember is I had to buy a laying tool and the laying tool was like ten dollars and when I came back to my dorm and showed some of my friends what I had just spent ten dollars on they were like I could have just gotten you a branch out of the camp, <laughs> you know, the commons. They were like, why did you spend $10 on that? I'm like, you guys don't understand. But anyway, that was a big purchase back then, $10. I mean, yeah. that could get you to two movies in those days. Yep. So, and that, that store just happened to be owned by Susan, Susan Greening, Greening Davis. Davis. Yeah. 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 It was a wonderful store. It was a great store. She was in Alma, and then she relocated to St. Louis, Michigan, which was like two feet away. Yeah. And, oh, God, it was a wonderful and store. And you've already told the story once how you filled a punch card mm -hmm. at graduation on a weekend, weekend. Yeah. yeah and 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 what the best part was is that she had rocking chairs out on the porch yeah so the husband so sat out there and rock while yeah. we were in there just spinning yeah. our brains out and so when i took the class i did this in green and whites and then i stitched it again for mom and dad in blue and silvers because i knew mom was a blue person and i think i probably just gave it to you, you did. plain and you made the I pillow out it. of it yeah. so it's finished into a pillow with a little envelope back 
Um, so yeah, that's been around a long, a time. long time. 30 years. And I have decided. no idea what the pattern is. 30, you know? 30 years. Yeah, she's been 30 stitching. year anniversary. This More than 30 because that was a that, college. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. So that was a fun one. No <laughs> idea what the pattern is. If anybody knows, let us know. One okay. of our intrepid viewers probably won't. And this... I don't remember the pattern. I don't know if it's Shepherd's Bush or what, but I may, I, I can't, I don't think this is dated, but I made this years ago, years yeah. and years ago and finished it and as a pillow. And this was a printed, or a, well, it's, a, it's a, it's a, a, you didn't do the, no, no, this no, part. but yeah. that, that you just do the pattern in the middle right. and then you right. sew the buttons on and everything. I had all the buttons for it. I had, I guess it was a kit and I made it and I love it. I just think it's so pretty. Trees, and, hearts, home. Christmas tide is all of these. Yeah. I'm looking for a year. Can no, I don't think I dated it. Yeah, that was this looks I like it was stuff. pearl cotton too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's probably a good thirty years old. This one's probably the same age because I know I made it before we came here. And We've then been here you almost twenty made years. Made it into a pillow. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And I have yeah. my. It's a winter backing. Actually, it's trees. Yeah. So upside down. One but that's side okay. upside down. Yeah. <laughs> It's okay. It leans against the couch. Yep. Those are, so those are our previous, previous finishes. finishes. So now we'll go into a few questions. So first of all, our question for you um, from our last episode, we were talking about Christmas Day starts and New Year's Day starts and the 12 by 12, which was super fun to watch. Um, and our question for you was, do you do a Christmas or a New Year's Eve day, New Year's Eve or New Year's Day start? And so... If you said yes to both, I counted you in both. So the numbers are, I don't know, they're fine. Um, so we had 17 people who said, no, they don't do a Christmas or they don't do New Year's. What do you mean? Um, and, and they had a lot of reasons. Some of them were like, I don't need more starts. Yeah. Other ones were like, I'm way too busy on those days yeah. that I don't have time to do a start. Um, somebody said, I think she started like 14 projects already in December so she really didn't need more um and then we had 13 who said yes they do a Christmas start some Christmas Eve some Christmas wow. day some the day after when everybody's gone and they can come down oh, that's a good idea um so we had 13 of those and then we had 17 who said, yes, they were doing some type of New Year's start. And some of those were doing 12 by 12s. Some of those also do, do a Christmas start. Um, but uh, a lot of people commented they were working on their whips, especially trying to get stuff done by the end of the year, as I was doing. Yeah, explain what the 12 by 12 was again. Yeah, so 12 by 12 was put on by Kia B and Pam. Um, from Pam and Steph, and I can't think of their channel name right now, but you guys know who Pam and Steph are. Um, and they did a start each hour from 12 p.m. on the 31st until 12 a.m. And he worked on so it midnight. for an hour. Yeah. Um, insane. Absolutely <laughs> insane. And some people oh. did all new. Some people did all whips. Some people did half and half. Some people did two hours on each project. Some people did one project and then quit. Um, <laughs> I stitched away on my existing whips. I, you know, I was, I really enjoyed following along, watching the videos, seeing on Instagram what people were posting. It's not for me to, to do 12 different projects no. in 12 hours. Because you get like 50 stitches or yeah. 100 stitches but or whatever. But it is whatever. for some people. And I yeah. know a lot of people who are like, I'm starting all the things now and then I'm going to work on these throughout the year. So yeah, so it was fun to watch. But um, the other thing people commented on is a lot of people do birthday starts. And I did that this year. Yeah. Did you? Did you I? didn't do no. one, I don't think. I was still trying to get a couple of You're trying finished. to get some yeah. stuff done. But yeah, so that was that was fun to hear about your plans. <laughs> I don't know where to put it, so I just threw it. Okay. Um, so Deborah asked Deborah, who has my favorite last name, Karate like Roddy, asked, uh, "Who's your favorite for the Australian, the Australian Open? Open?" Rafa. Always. Yeah, Rafa. it's got to be Rafa. Roger's okay. not playing anymore. Yeah. And Roth is good. But, you know, there's some other good ones coming up. And my mind is totally blank right now because I didn't even stop to think about it. But uh, and for the girls, I would love to see Coco Goff go through all the way. Yeah, that would be really neat. She's had a good start and she's mm -hmm. doing really well. So is it already hoping. on? I think it may playing? start next week. Okay. I, I, I don't okay. know for sure, but yeah. I'll record it and then I'll watch it. You'll for the watch next it. 20, I'm still watching the Olympics. So, you know, <laughs> I'm <laughs> 
Yeah. Excuse me, but I'm just watching someone ride on their bike across the street with their two dogs. Oh. And they're running. Can you see him? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's one way to exercise Talking about them. getting your dogs out for a run. That's yeah. That's funny. Yeah. Okay. And back, they're loving it. Back to floss too. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes we get distracted looking out the window. See, where my where my sewing room is located, I can snoop on the world. And she does. <laughs> I Be can watch them run the stop sign at the corner. <laughs> <laughs> and now that the leaves are down, I can watch the people across the street go in and out. And um, oh yeah, you yeah. know, I'm, you know, it's so nice to have a nosy old lady next door who takes care of everything. Uh -huh. Guess who that is? <laughs> Guess who that is? Well, I got to babysit the baby the other day because I'm the, yeah. you know, the yeah. grandma next door. Yes. Yeah, that All was right. fun. So last right. time we talked about SYS 2023 Stitcher Stash, which we're both going to put good effort towards <laughs> this year. Um, Based on our cleaning up. Natalie said, "Does that include quilting?" And I said, "Absolutely, Definitely. I think." I don't see can. why not. Yeah. So the other thing, Natalie, that I do with quilting is called stash reporting. So um, Donna at Quilt Paint Create, the blog, um, does a weekly stash report link up. So if you have a blog, it works. You could probably also put an Instagram picture in. I'm not sure. I haven't tried that. Um, but... I have a spreadsheet and I record everything that comes in and everything that I use. I know you're shocked to hear that I have a spreadsheet and she's <laughs> rolling her eyes over here, but I love it. I, I love tracking. I've been tracking for the last 10 years. If you go to my blog, which is linked below, my last post that I did uh, before today, I shared my stash reporting yep. for the end of the year and I ended in the positive, which means I used more than I added to my stash. So I've been doing that for a long time and I find it really helps me when I'm in a quilt shop, instead of going, ooh, I need that, to go, what do I really need? <laughs> And it helps me when I'm making things to shop from my stash first. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I think that's, I mean, that's kind of the intent of Stitcher Stash. It's not a no buy. No. It is really about, let's use some of this stuff we purchased yeah. that we already love, that yeah. we bought it. Why go we buy more it? when yeah. you have stuff at home you love? Yeah. And like a good example yeah. for you, you've been getting these color and cotton threads. Yes. Yes. Very few designers call for color right. and cotton, but right. you can sub them out I can and sub use them out that. And I have been doing thread. that, and they're yeah. beautiful. I have some to show. Yeah. So, yeah. yes, Natalie, do it with quilting. We're yep. supportive. Um, Did you buy the king size quilt by hand? Karen. Hell no. <laughs> In no uncertain terms. I am not crazy. Um, I I had the binding cut and I woke up about 5.30 in the morning to pee as usual. And, and I laid there in bed thinking, oh, I need to get that binding on today. And finally at 6.30, when I realized that I was not going to go back to sleep because I was thinking about that stupid binding, I came up here and I finished it at 10.30. I I sewed it together because, you know, I had strips. I sewed the strips it. together. I made it. I pressed it in half. I machine sewed it on the on the, on the the quilt, and then I machine stitched it down. Yeah. And um, it was fine. And we both, and, I mean, I machine stitch almost all of yeah, my bindings we've gotten now. to that way more. It's a rare one that I yeah. hand stitch. If I'm doing a faced binding, I do, you do have to hand stitch right. it. I haven't figured out a way to machine yeah. stitch But if those. it's, if it's yeah. something small, I might do it by hand. I think this one is a hand stitch, yeah. but, but I've had that for a while. A long time. Yeah. But, um, uh, the bigger quilts and that yeah. way it's a lot sturdier, you oh know, gosh, if they're going to yeah. be, you know, if especially gonna be used, if, if you're going to do it for a, a, a even want. a teenager or like, you know, a if I make something for or, one of my, my, my grandchildren, yeah. I would, or a baby quilt, I would definitely yeah. machine stitch it down because otherwise, you know, they get a little finger in there or a toe or a big toe or a big mm -hmm. finger or, you know, they throw it in the wash and it gets torn and yeah. then you've got a whole nother problem. So, yeah. um, no, I did not hand stitch that sucker. And I would just add, if anybody's thinking, oh, but if you have it judged, I have had quilts judged that where I've machine stitched the binding on both sides and, and I've never had a bad comment about it. So, um, yeah. Okay. Uh, we had two people who had questions on Floche, which I talked about a little bit last week. Um, recovering monogamous stitcher, great name, uh, wanted more information. So if you go back to our episode 31, I talk a lot about Floche in that episode. I show it um, so I won't repeat all that stuff, uh, but you can find it in 31. Dana asked, do I think Floche is DMC's version of Silk? Uh, 
Maybe. I mean, I don't I don't think they're trying to be no, silk. No. I think they're presenting it as another option and it's probably more targeted towards needle pointers. It's just when the cross stitchers find it, it works for us too. So, yeah. um, but it feels really nice and it looks really nice. So from that side, I would say it it's prettier like a silk. I have not used yeah. Roche at all, so yeah. I, I can't comment but, that um, yeah, I, it was fun to work with. I encourage you, again, I think I talked about before, if you're stitching on a larger a 28 or a 30 count, a 14, 16, um, and you want to try with one strand, go ahead and try a Floche. I wouldn't buy a whole line because it's very expensive, but for colors that I use a lot, I might get a skein or two mm -hmm. and, and add them in. Yeah. So, yeah. So we're going to change things up here a little bit. And um, we're at this point, we're going to ask you our question for next time. And then we'll remind you again at the yep. end of the episode. Um, now, this is a little bit of a tease to one of the things that we're going to talk about. <laughs> but now I'm teasing twice. Um, but uh, we would like to know how many projects do you have finished, but not FFO'd? So how much Explain of that stuff that is, is stitched? And the stitching is all done, but it's not ready for... It's not framed, it's, it's not, not framed, a pillow, it's not, it's not, it's not a finished, hanging piece, finished. it's not fully finished. Fully finished, yes. FFO is a fully finished yeah. object. So my daughter last night was like, I can't remember what FFO is. Is it finally finished? I said, that's good. Because for me, it usually is <laughs> yeah, finally that's a, finished. That's a good idea. So tell us how about how many, unless you know exactly, like those of us who keep a spreadsheet, mm -hmm. um... How, how many non-FFO do you think you have? I know exactly. I'll mention it later. Do you have a ballpark? Let's see what's up on the wall. I did post a picture on Instagram um, as we were cleaning up my nine room. Nine or ten up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, nine. Holy crap. Yeah. Okay, there's nine. And I think there's a couple more hiding out in well, my Well, and you have your hanger there. There's probably another 15 on the hanger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have a few. You have a few. So tell us in the comments, <laughs> how many do you think you have that are finished but not FFO'd? Hmm. Um, all right. God help me. <laughs> now we'll jump into the regular stitching talk. Uh, we're going to show you our whips and new starts. And I'm jokingly going to say I'm going to give you the shortest whip parade you've ever seen because I worked on all my whips this last time. Wasn't she um, but I made mom. So when we cleaned up her room, <laughs> she loves me for this. I, I... I had a good time, let me tell you. It was fun. We had this huge pile of stitching things that we She had, is a terror. We when had she does done this. last year. And she was like, Oh, I want to stitch that. I want to stitch that. I want to stitch that. So we had it all in a pile. Well, we had it because I was having my hip replacement. And yeah. it was like, Well, I won't be able to do much for a few weeks. So, and a lot and of them are still there. Still a year there. Later. Yeah. So I was like, I was holding it up and I was like, When are you going to stitch this? Are you stitching this now or never? <laughs> So based on how she responded, I put them into piles like, yep, she can keep this in the in the soon to stitch pile or nope, this one's going in the drawer. It was fun. We had a good time. Oh, yeah, it was great. We got a lot done. And then we'll tell you what she did in the hospital. Okay. Uh, <laughs> God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, okay. Yeah. We'll tell that. Okay. You want to share your whip? Yes. And, yeah. then your, your, and then your short whip parade. Yeah, my short whip parade. Yeah. Okay. This I've been working on. I've shown you before. It's the Spooky Row by Bent Creek. And I'm enjoying it. And I was hoping to get it finished, or at least last night I was stitching, and I was frantically trying to get the pumpkin finished. But guess what? I didn't. So anyway, here it is. I don't know. Can, can you see it? I think... Um, no, we'll just do this. Yeah, bring it back. Back, back. There. Okay, there. Yeah. So I'm. I have to do the smoke coming out of the cauldron. I have to finish the ghost's head and the pumpkin, and then it'll just be a few more letters and the U -V -W -X -Y -Z. black. U V W X Y Z. Yeah, I think. I, do I have the zip? I've got the spider done, and I've got both little pumpkins done, and I have to do the eyes over this guy. I have to finish them, and then it's the vulture and the last few letters. So I will definitely have it done by the time we meet you again. Okay. I swear. And do you have any idea what you're stitching this on? That, I'm going to hold this up real close because this gray is really pretty in the letters. Yeah, that's I soot. I don't know if it shows. 
uh, the letters are done tell. in in no the letters are done in soot, soot. and the uh, which uh, is that weeks or sampler or classic uh, it's downstairs oh. um soot is i think okay. it's it's i think it's sampler okay and then it the is really mascara pretty. is the black in the pumpkin yeah. for their teeth and their eyes. But I and think everything. you can see it in the R. Yeah, it's, it's just really a, a pretty, really color. pretty variegation yeah. on that gray. It almost looks black when you look at it, but it does but have a lot of variegation. Close, yeah, and yeah. look up here. This part is really good yeah, too. Yeah, the AV. See the. Yeah, that's the yeah, best. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm enjoying this. It's fun and it's going and it will be finished. Okay. Completed. Uh, I don't know that it'll be fully finished, but. You know, when I went down and, and took my um, pumpkin alphabet down, I was going to get a frame that a bunch of these could fit in, but then I found that nice orange frame that works so well with the colors. So as a result, I um, wound up not doing that. So, okay. Okay. And then my next one is... What do you think? What? Now we're into whip parade for you. Oh, no. All right, Did go you... ahead and do your whips. That's my only whip right now. Yeah, go ahead. Do your other. Okay. Do the rest of yours. Okay, we didn't press this one. <laughs> uh, okay, we had, and I don't know where the pattern is. She oh. dug it out from somewhere. But remember the Biscornu sat challenge. Well, you know how good I was about that, and I this needs a good press. There, but thought. somebody, somebody didn't press it before she no. started this. It's so we'll just pretend that it's pressed. But this is as far as I've gotten on it. It's a just nan. It's a it's a just nan and it's pretty and I'm going to get back to it. And it just kind of got pushed aside with all the, there was a lot of Christmas prep and, and then, you know, with that king size quilt, that took and a lot of time. And you were having fun with it. And I mean, yeah. you set it aside, which is yeah. okay. And yeah. that, we so think go the to. stitching is done on that and you just need yeah, to Yeah, I think it just beating. needs to be beading. I think I've done all yeah. the stitching. And we put that on your list. Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll You'll talk hear about, about my the list. Least, yeah. list in okay, the list. then yeah, this is the National Park Santa for Grand Canyon, and he's a Mill Hill kit. And I have worked on him some, That's so much attached. so that I've got floss on the back. And so he's coming along, and he's pretty close to he's just needing good. Yeah. beating. And that was for my son in law a year ago, Christmas, and then it was for him this Christmas. So maybe it'll be for his birthday because his birthday is not till October. All right. So, but I'll get that done because I just want to get it finished. And then this was just kind of a fun thing. This was a free pattern and I could dig around and find out um, we'll where it came here. from. But, um, oh yeah, you can't, yeah. you can't see it up yeah. close. Uh, but it's, it's but a snowflake. See the pattern. And so it's done on, it's, in, it's somewhere. That it's looks a, it's like a light platinum gray. Lugana. Yeah, it's probably platinum Lugana. And it's really fun to stitch. It's over one. Yeah. One over one. And I'm using I'm Splendor silk thread, which is really nice to work with. And especially when you hold it right side up. And you have it and like halfway done. More yeah, than halfway done. It's more than halfway only done. Four of these yeah, on it. Yeah. So I have I have that. Um and that could turn into probably a little pillow or something. It's really pretty. Yeah. But the yeah. Splendor is fun. I'd never worked with that so before. Tiny. We have a bunch, yeah. And, oh, oh here's the, the Biscornu. Yeah. That's that the doesn't Biscornu tell picture. It. That's the picture. So. And that's the piece you showed. That's what I've gotten done. I haven't done the, the rest of it yet. I actually, when I bought it, didn't realize, because I'd never seen a Biscornu before, really. I thought it was three different ones. And I thought, oh, which one am I going to make? And then Jennifer said, no, idiot. It's <laughs> no, not. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> Oh. oh, and then this one, boy, am I dating myself with this one. This oh, is a... I loved these kits. I know. This is Daydreams by Debbie Mum. Yeah, and, so see okay, one. okay, so that's it. And it's, guess what? It's And snowmen. this is, this one was called Frosty Greetings 72949. Yeah. And remember these, they used to think you could do these in a day. I and they know, come. Some people they could. come with the matting. They come with, with the glass, frame, and they yes. come with clips, and well, you clip it together. This picture on the back, I did that one. I have it. It's part of my Christmas decorations. Yeah. So. So I started this a long time ago. It's on eighteen count eight. Yeah. And that's the wrong side. Okay. He looks much better this way. It was ten dollars. So. <laughs> <laughs> so you can tell I got it more than a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago. So this is as far as I got. And then one time when I was in my 
my bins, I was going through something and I found this wad of floss and I thought, what is this for? I have no clue. I threw it away. About four days later, I picked this up and I was like, oh, crap. That's what, That's it's what it was for. from. So then Miss Jennifer, being the wonderful child that she is, went through my stash and pulled all the threads. So now there's no excuse now for not finish finishing it. it. Yeah. So those those That's are pretty your... much my current whips. I don't yeah. have, I guess, a ton. Of you thought plastic. you had more, but you really yeah, didn't. We, no. we, we didn't find them. You might be squirreling them away yeah, somewhere. Yeah, we may but, have yeah. an update next time. <laughs> um, all right, so I have four whips, two of which you've seen before and two of which are new starts. So we'll start with Goody Grimwood. This is my Plum Street Samplers piece that I started. This is my oldest whip. I started it in um, Stitch Mania 2021. And... Um, I'm a little nervous because see all that grass? Uh, somebody just posted about this and said she needed more than one skein. Oh no. And I only have one. Now it was a fresh skein when I started. So I but you've hope. done green leaves. I've just stuff. done a little bit of green. Well, I mean, she would have too. Yeah. So here it is. You, last time you saw this, I think might have been our last episode because I stitched it on at, while I was watching the Thanksgiving parade. Um, but I continued on this part of the house and I did, it only had one row of windows last time. So I did the whole second row of windows and I'm down um, almost to the part where there's a pumpkin stem. And then I started on some of the green because I was like, that is a boatload of green. Yeah. Um, that's what's going to stop me from finishing this. So I decided like. It's like doing a border. You I'm need to work do, a little bit on the green and do some more and then yeah, go back to the green. That's exactly if what you I'm going to do. save it for the end, So I'm going to try nuts. and get like this part of the green done over here. And then there's another whole, uh, another flower here and a bird cage. So there's plenty still left to do. I would love to finish this during 2023. I don't know if I will. We'll see. Um, and this is I'll stitched. put it on her list. <laughs> <laughs> this is stitched on 40 Count Stars Hollow. This is my first project on 40 count. I'm stitching one thread, one strand over two. Yes, I'm sorry, a notification just popped up, so we both got distracted. <laughs> um, second one, I had so much fun working on this, you guys. I told myself <gasps> that, <laughs> she just saw, <laughs> that I was gonna work on Goody Grimwood and Weekend in Paris. I thought, just work on it three days each. You'll make some progress, you'll feel good about it. I pulled this out and I think I worked on it for a week and you guys I think it looks really nice it's so here's along. where it is now this whole tan section is done except for two stitches I think I, I missed somewhere up there I have to go back and get and then I brought down the pink here and I started working more on her dress. And so it's gonna be I am really pleased with this. Now, yeah. there is a slight issue because I have warped it a little bit. The fabric is not straight anymore because it's a ton of half stitches. That's okay. You can straighten it. That's what I thought. This is all it, like DMCs. It. I think I, yeah, can, can, I can wash yeah. it and block it. Yeah. So I hope that that will all work out. And if not... I did notice the way that it's framed in the picture, there's no fabric showing around it. Right. So I could get a frame and butt it right up to the edge and kind of hide it if mm -hmm. it's not It'll be straight, fine. straight. We can so, fix it. Yeah. So I'm super happy with that. That is a Dimensions Gold Collection Petites. It is stitched on 18 count ivory Ada with the called for kit threads. And this one I picked up. I think on the free table at retreat last year. So whoever left it, thank you. I'm having a good time with it. And then oh, I, I think that. last time I was like, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do a Christmas day start. And then I was like, I think I want to do a Christmas day start on Christmas because now I have teenagers. So they open their gifts and then they it's eat. Done. <laughs> they eat and then they go back up to their rooms. So we actually, my son had a big Lego. So he was building a Lego. They were totally entertained. Yeah. So I was like, I'm going to stitch. And then I was like, I'm going to stitch something Christmassy. So I went down and, and I was also thinking stitch your stash. So I'm like, I'm, I'm going to make it all out of my stash. So this also is something I picked up at one of our free tables. This was the keepsakes 2016 calendar. Oh, I like um, the one. I know, I do too. And on the back is this design, 
which I just think is so the red pretty. One. The red work, yes, this design. Um, and so I found in my stash Ada. This is 18 count Ada. I was looking for a higher count so I could do it with one thread. And I started that little tree. And I got most of the tree done on, well, not most, half of the tree done on Christmas day. And that's all the stitching I did that day. And I'm stitching this with Splendor Silk. It's funny. Yeah. We're both using it, but mm -hmm. we didn't plan that at all. Um, this one's going to take me a while, you guys. And I don't know, I might quit after the first <laughs> section. But the reindeer are at the bottom. <laughs> the if I had started with the reindeer section, I, I don't think I'd keep going. But um, I like it. My only challenge is that my hands are super dry in the winter and the silk keeps catching on them. Oh, yeah. So if anybody has advice. I've got a bunch of creamy stuff to put okay, on your hands. Okay, maybe I'll, I'll take some. one of your yeah. cream hand creams. But um, yeah, but it's, I like stitching really one strand. I like stitching 18 count. Um, I think it's going to be really pretty. Yeah. So this is going to be a longer term project. This one's going to take me a while because especially if you look at that Noel, that's uh, a lot of fill in. And the the silk is 12 ply so i'm hoping 12 ply eight yards i'm hoping it'll be should enough. be plenty and if not hopefully i can get this number still and if you ever want to try silk we were very fortunate someone gave us a gave boatload us of silk boxes. of a splendor and we went through and, and there were other other parts of that line not just splendor but that same rainbow gallery, rainbow gallery yeah. stuff but we have a lot of, of this but the as Vicky has said, if you want to try silk, Splendor is a good Splendor. way to go because it's not that expensive and there's more on here than on a DMC skein. Yeah. And so and you, and it's pliable. So you know, you can use two threads or you can use one. one. So it's yeah. a good way to try silk. Yeah. And yeah. not blow your budget. And I'm trying to think, I don't know where my project bag is, but I pulled a different Rainbow Gallery for the white. There's a little bit of white that oh, gets okay. used. So we'll see. I'm not going to get to that part for a while. And then, okay, now let's get, we're getting to the end of the whip parade. <laughs> um, my other new start is a temperature chart. So I've been watching so many people over the years do temperature charts. And I always think they're so neat. And I was like, I think I want to do a temperature chart. So I started I don't. looking around <laughs> on Instagram and I found this one, and I had not heard of this studio, Zara Design Studios, and this one is called Temperature Stars, or Mini Stars, and I just thought that was so pretty. It kind of appeals to my quilting uh, aesthetic addiction, addiction. addiction. Um, and she had a couple others that were also little tiny motifs like this. Instead of a tree. Instead of a Most tree. Most of them are trees. It's, trees, I've or seen. I've seen the potions. Oh, I've no, seen, seen several I've different seen ones. Trees. But, um, but this one really appealed to me. And so here are the first 12 days of January in Indianapolis, Indiana. So maybe I'll give you my threads and you can hold up the yeah. thread colors. Let's see. That's the from hot to cold. Yeah. So... You want to hold them in front of so yeah. this so they can see. Okay, so see. all DMC yeah. threads and the temperature range goes from 106 plus. I hope I don't use that thread. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, well, actually, I'd love to use it just for one day. Yeah, that'd be well. To yeah. so the air seven, works. seven degrees and below. So right now we've been in the in the range of like 30 to 50 59 I think was the high one day wow, or 60. Yeah. So here we are. We had four it's days really in a pretty. row that were the same. So there's four purple days in a row that are the same and then one purple day it's that's really a little pretty. different. So yeah, it'll have stars across and then I'll start going around and slowly coming into yeah. the center. So my goal is, is to work on this at least once a week to keep up because I think if I get behind that's yeah, going to be dangerous. That's going to be hard. Yeah. And this is stitched on 32 count. I thought it was in here. I think it's 32 count slate Lugana. Platinum Lugana. Platinum. It's it's a very light gray. Yeah. And I need to zigzag it because it is fraying like crazy. Yeah. yeah. And if you can tell, I don't have a ton of fabric. I'm going to have mm -hmm. two more stars here. So it's going to go about that far. It's going to be um, tight. It's going to be tight. But Maybe I'll probably make it into a pillow or yeah. something at the yeah. end. Yeah. 
So I am having fun with this. The, um, the thing is in the temperature chart, she gives you all the directions for where to look up your temperatures and I'm doing high temperatures um, and the color ranges and then all of that. So great chart. Um, we will link her shop below. Will you put that oh, in yeah. the shops okay. on the back? I started okay. shops um, and I will link her shop and I just got my zipper stuck. Okay. That's the whip parade. Wow. Thank you for joining wow. us for our whip parade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do. I, I'll have a new start by next time. I, but I have four whips going. But I think I'm going to work on some bigger things this year. Okay. We'll see. Okay. All right. Should we go to finishes? Yeah. Good. You go first because I'm sure you have more than I do. I have two. Okay. Okay. So. <gasps> you've seen this. I didn't know it was done. Yeah, you put it all over Instagram. No. Okay, in case you I've forgot, I mean, we all look at Instagram and then we forget, right? Like, yes, I see yes. this other floss tubers all the time. They show something on floss tube and I'm like, oh, wow. And then I'm like, wait, I think I've seen that already on Instagram. <laughs> but anyway, Winter Bell Pull by Tiny Modernist. And um, you bought stuff to make this pattern too. So I'm yes. just going to give you that book. Thank you. Um, Add it to my list. I, I was going to say, I don't know if it's on your list. <laughs> I stitched this on 28 count picture this plus gossamer and it is a um, opalescent and I finished it. I the finished last this time I remember Christmas you were and here years. and you were still cursing the border. Yeah. But, um, no, I wow. finished that border. Look at that. Me. And I think it's so pretty. And I have it to do on pretty much the same color, but it doesn't sparkle. Yeah. I think yours is maybe a little darker, which will yeah. be good because yeah. my whites did not show up. I actually changed a lot of the words that were in white. Like when snow falls, mm -hmm. the falls was supposed to be in white. I changed it to that light blue because it just wasn't showing up. Yeah, it wasn't showing, showing up. up. Yeah, because even your snowman so, and stuff. Yeah, were, yeah. Your they show better in person than they do on camera. Yeah. But there it is. So this is going to become dun. a bell pull. I don't have a hanger for it yet, so I don't know what... I would love to find a hanger that has a snowflake mm -hmm. or something like that yeah. on it. So yeah. we might have to do a little we can look. hanger shopping. Yeah. Bell pull. Bell pull hardware shopping. Ackfeld or yeah. Landry. So this was very fun to stitch. This was my New Year's Day, I think, start. Or my Christmas Day start in 2021. So I finished it in a year. I finished it before the year turned. Wow, that was good. Yes. That was good. And then... My second one was my first finish of 2023, and this is Hand Blessings Cardinal with Candy King, and I showed this on our last episode. I picked it up and started it because I just wanted to work on something different. See, this is the thing if I get to bigger yeah. projects, but that's okay to get a little one in in between. And this is on 28 Count Picture This Plus Slate with Extra Dog Hair, um, and here he is! Isn't he cute with his little candy cane and his scarf on? And I sewed those beady little eyes on this morning. They're two <laughs> Mill Hill beads. Um, and it comes with a charm, a snowflake charm, which you can fit into the pillow. So um, I'll probably do that. I think I will finish it as a pillow. It's super cute. Yeah. And um, I don't know what else. I was going to say something, but I don't know what else. Anyway. How was working on the dark color? Good. I just use my big light and my magnifier. When you have magnification and good light, you can work on anything. Yeah, because yeah. a lot of people don't like working on black yeah. or dark colors. Yeah, I could never, like, I couldn't sit here in this room and stitch on it. I have to have the magnification light to stitch on dark, even a, even a 28 count. Yeah. 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 But, yeah, and the snowflakes on this one were in um, the pearl cotton that comes in a ball, 12. Yeah, I think that's pearl it. cotton. Yeah, yeah. So that was kind of fun. They're little Smyrna crosses. So yeah, so that's my first finish for 2023. Wow! Yay! Yeah. Show them your first and finish. I for have a finish that I've been working. Our, our first, first finish. finish. I was working on this for quite a while, and I got to the point where I was like, "Yuck! I'm tired of it." And she pulled it out in our cleaning day. And said, there's not much here. I'm going to take it home and finish it. And then all you have to do is backstitch. Well, boy, that was a gift. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so you know that we go for sushi every week. And um, I've made several things for our sushi chef. And she really likes them. So I just, she loves cats. 
that person. And um, so Jennifer finished. I had most of it done. I don't know what, did, did. what did you stitch. But anyway, here he is. Um, and he will fit in a five by seven frame. And he Yay. really is kind of cute. He and is. so he is done. And uh, I am ecstatic. I have another one to do. And I don't know. It'll be a cold day in hell before I start that one. <laughs> but <laughs> we'll see. Maybe I'll get to it. But uh, I don't know, uh, He it's on Ada, which I really don't enjoy stitching. And there were a lot of half stitches and partial stitches. So, you know, when you're trying to um, do that on Ada, it's just not, it's not and fun. And his whole face is stitched. So you're stitching yeah. white on white. Yeah, his yeah. whole face and you're trying to yeah. work in around the, yeah, it was, but it, it's cute now that it's done and I'm happy with it. So I... Well, and this is a good example of like back stitching totally changes a oh, project. Oh yeah, totally. Because before this was back stitched, it was like, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Once it's back stitched, yeah. it's Once really I put his cute. facial features in and everything, mm -hmm. you know, the tongue was sticking out in the nose, and you're looking at him thinking, God, he's weird. <laughs> but then once you get the all the the back stitching in, and even though it isn't yeah. perfect, um, nobody's going to know because I'm not showing him the picture, yeah. but. <laughs> You know, it's it's fine, yeah. and and he really does look like a legitimate sushi chef. I wish I could have made it sushi a girl cat. sushi cat. Yeah. yeah. So, so anyway, well, that will go to her at some girl. point. Yeah, it could be a girl, could be a girl. in girl. pants. But yeah. Yeah. So that's. I'm that's, wearing pants. I don't know about you. Yeah, I am too. <laughs> well, whatever. I thought we were gonna get something good out of that, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I have clothes on today. How about that? Oh man, good. <laughs> and then I have one FFO. And so I'm going to take this opportunity to talk a little bit about the challenge that Michelle from Penny's Daughter Shares and I are hosting this year. So Michelle and I have been Instagram friends for a long time, and we are constantly surprised by all the weird coincidences. Like her best friend is Michelle, is Jen, and my best friend is a Michelle, and... Um, <laughs> We went to school about the same time at schools that are 40 miles apart. And I can't remember the other ones, but these things keep popping up. And it's just too funny that we have all these coincidences. Um, we feel like we should have met at this point, but we haven't yet. So we were chatting a little bit over Instagram. I think I posted a picture of a ton of projects that needed to be finished. And she's like, yeah, I have a ton of those too. And so we decided to talk one day and figure out if we could encourage each other. And we decided we could. So we are hosting the FFO Challenge 2023. You'll see the hashtag down here. Um, and we are really gonna encourage each other and anybody else who wants to join us to finish up some of these projects that you have in your bins and your drawers, hanging on a hanger, stuffed under your bed, <laughs> that you wanna use yeah, and you wanna yeah. see. So, um, I told you I would tell you I have 50 unfinished pieces. I know you're looking at your nine. <laughs> don't don't get all sure of yourself until we count what's on that hanger. No. So um, my goal for the end of 2022 was to be under 50, but then I finished that bell pull and it put me, I was at 49 and then boom, <laughs> ah, I finished one. So I was up at 50. So I finished the year with 50 unfinished. Finishes. Finished, but not finished, but not, not totally FFO. finished. And now I finished that Cardinal. So I'm at 51, but then I finished my first FFO for the year. So now I'm back at 50. So this is the Lizzie Kate pandemic design that she released. Be kind, be happy, be well. And this is one of my inspirational stitches. And you'll learn more about all of these in later in the year, a couple of months, yeah. um, the, the details of them. But I stitched this with some, a, a few of the called for threads, but mostly substitutions. I've shown it before because I stitched it last year. And then last night, my daughter and I made the cording and she thinks that's so fun. So one day I'm just going to get out oh, a good. ton of stuff and good. we're going to cord like crazy. Good. Um, and, and I just glued it. This is a flat fold and I made this using Vana Pfeiffer's tutorial. Great tutorial. I prefer the written tutorial on her blog. She also has a lot of video tutorials. So it's great whether you like to read and follow a tutorial or watch a video. And then this was Michelle's suggestion on the back. I put a little pocket in 
And in this pocket is going to go a letter to the recipient. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. What a nice That was idea. her idea. Um, glue? I, it's glue. Yeah. I know. I got to get it off. Yeah. I laid it down on the glue last night. So anyway, I'm good. not going to show you guys the glue, but Eagle Eye here <laughs> found it. Um, so this is the first, and this is my first FFO for the year. It's really and pretty. You did a good job. I'm so happy with how it turned out. So now I'm going to talk for a minute about how I'm gonna get there. So I thought this was funny. We had a white elephant gift exchange at work at um, for our holiday party. Oh, did you? And I walked away with a bag that had a notebook and a candle. And the notebook said, dare to begin, it's time. <laughs> it was like kismet. That's perfect. Oh my and gosh. so this is gonna be my little FFO book. And this is where, after Michelle and I talked the first time, oh. I wrote down some ideas and some thoughts. And what I started to come up with um, is what would work for me. And so when we talked the first time, I was like, how about we do this? What if we do that? And she was like, oh, I don't know if this will work for me. What if we do this? And I was like, oh, I think I'm going to fail at that. So what we came to by the end of our first call is that it's less important that we do the same thing and more important that we have the same goal. And so it's our goal idea. is we both are going to set our own personal goal of what we want to do, how many FFOs we want to finish. And I would like to invite all of you to do the same. Your goal could be, I want to take things to the framer. I'm not a finisher, but I want to get them out or to the Or send them off to somebody yes. to finish, like Vana yes. or yes. something like that. Um, your goal could be, I want to finish one thing. I've never yeah. sewn a pillow and my goal this year is to sew one pillow and figure it out or sew six pillows until I can figure out how to finish the pillow well, right? <laughs> um, so I invite you to think about what's going to work for you. If you hop over to Michelle's video, she's going to talk about what's going to work for her. And one of the things we talked about was setting yourself up for success. And so neither of us is going into this year saying, I'm going to finish all no, of my no. FFOs or all of my FOs. Um, we both figured out the plan. Ironically, we wound up at the same monthly goal. So we're both going to try and finish two FFOs per month for a total of 24 by the end of the year. Some months I'll probably get more than two done. Mm -hmm. You know, during graduation and months, college drop done. off, yeah. I might not get any done. So it's an annual goal. And what I decided would work for me, so for many years I have done the APQ um, quilting. American Patchwork and Quilting. Thank you. The American Patchwork and Quilting UFO Challenge. And so I printed this out and brought this to share. And what you do in this is you take 12 of your unfinished quilts and you put them down here and you say what you need to do. And then each month, AP and Q calls a number and they post it all over their social media. And that's what you work on that month. Um, and let me just say, it doesn't have to be a quilt. It can You can be working on a bag or yes, a pillow. it can be whatever you Whatever want. project you want to put on there. Yep. It doesn't have to be a quilt. Yeah. So will you make a note because we can link this. Yeah. Um, so I've done this for many years. What I've found is I'm usually great in January and February. And by mm -hmm. March, when they call number seven, I'm like, I don't feel like working on number seven now. <laughs> and guess what? Number seven never gets done. Guess what, though? You guys, I only have nine to put on this year. Um so I knew that wasn't going to work to have a specific project. Right, now I'm right. still doing it with my quilting. I'm Even if I get two or three of these finished each year, I'm good. So then I went to a different solution. I know a lot of you have heard of WIPGO, um, but some of you may not have. So WIPGO is a program put on by Jessie Marie Does Stuff. And Say it, that again slowly. <laughs> Jessie Marie Does Stuff. Okay. Yeah, and we'll link that below. That came um, out as one word fast. Well, I guess it is on floss tube, but anyway, we'll link the WIPGO video, the introductory video. But WIPGO is like a bingo where each month she calls two numbers and you work on those two projects. And it originally started because people had a lot of whips they wanted to work on. So they would pick 24 whips and put a free space in the middle and when the number got called, you worked on that whip and you set your own goal. Is your goal to finish it? Is your goal to put in two days worth of stitching on it? Is your oh, goal to put in a thousand stitches, whatever it is that you want to do. And so I kind of latched onto this idea of like, I think a whip go board would work for me. So 
I bought the charts that were put out by the Naptime Stitcher. The first one I printed was in black and white. Um, these were just a couple dollars on Etsy. And again, we'll link her store. Um, and all of her proceeds from Whipgo are going to fill blessing boxes, um, like food pantry type boxes in her neighborhood. So I think it's an outstanding cause as well. Um, and so this is going to be my record where my sheet where I record the actual finishes. But then what I did, instead of choosing 25 of those projects, I decided to do categories. So if you can see real close, I have things like a bell pull, an ornament, finish something with mom, a pillow, um, finish something with fabric, finish something in a frame. And so I have, I have about 20 categories because I duplicated some of them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so the two that got pulled for this month are number six, which was an inspirational stitch. Just what? Done. And number 10, something on the design wall. If you write me a note, I will put in a picture of all the junk that was on my design wall when I wrote this board. Um, <laughs> not junk. It's not junk. It's beautiful stitching that's not yet finished. Um, so those are the two things I have for this month. I have picked an item. And if you go to my Instagram at Jen Quilter, you'll see what I picked to work on for January. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Um, so that's my goal this month. I'm going to go do those two things from my whip board. That's interesting. And I found I for me, that. like categories would work better. Yeah. Like, this month work on an ornament. It's not work on this very specific one yeah. because then if I get started and I decide, oh, I don't have any fabric I like for that one. Mm -hmm. or I don't know exactly mm -hmm. how I want to finish this one. This one gives me enough flexibility. So I would like to invite any of you who have FFO goals to join us. Um, again, on Instagram, we'll use, be using the tag FFO Challenge 2023. And we are here to cheer each other on. I posted a post earlier this week, like it, it wouldn't be easy if it wasn't a challenge. I haven't touched it since January 1st. And so I went down and I just glued things that night. That's all I could do. It was a long day at work. I was like, I could glue things. I'm not going to do the, put the linens on the, yeah. the backers because that takes more brain power. Another good one would be like a courting afternoon. Just yeah. make up a ton oh, of wonderful. courting, right? Um, so it's really pretty cording, by the way, it's purple you. and green. It's purple and green. The purple is 550 and the green is something else. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh wait, I wrote it in here. Here, hold that. And they're pearl cottons, um, oh, okay. from that yeah. same stash we got. Yeah. They are 550 and 368. And these were all over dyed threads and I don't like to use my over dyed for, um, and here you can see the coloring there. because I, I just don't want to take that money and put it into cording. So I use DMCs for cording. Yep. So 550 and 368. This, um, was stitched on a 32 count violet mist, um, two strands over two. And, and this was a combination of sampler weeks and maybe even classic color works. I think it was all three. Um, I remember the blue that's in Be Happy was called Father's Day. That's the only one I remember. <laughs> I don't know why I remember that one. So so that's what I'm doing for FFOs. So what about you? Do you have FFO goals? I hadn't thought about it, but we haven't talked about it that much. Yeah. You know, it, it, but I, I like the whip go thing yeah. because of having work on an ornament. So you don't have to say work on the snowman that you didn't finish last year. <laughs> you, you can go make yourself yeah. a new ornament or, you know, uh, make a finish as a pillow. You know, mm -hmm. if I can get my act together and get that snowflake done, which is so close to finishing, yeah. you know, I could make that into a small pillow. So I think it's more attainable than saying, you know, um, like I had on my list, I have a to-do list I keep on my phone, and one of them was finish Susan's quilt. Well, that sucker hung over me forever. Yeah. And um, actually, I'm not totally finished with it because I still have to embroider a label. <laughs> I just didn't get You're to so that. Close. I'm so close. So yeah. you know, so I think these are more attainable when when it's a kind of a general finish yeah. rather than a specific work on this, do that. You know, like uh, make a bag. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I've how yeah, many, we both have could, how many bag patterns. You it, could totally take this whip go and have it be a combination of things yep. you want to start, things 
you want to stitch. Yeah, it could be. It could be a mix of finishes. If you're, if and, you're crocheting, if you're knitting, and, yeah. if you're um, embroidering, if you're quilting. Yeah. You know, it doesn't have to be just stitching stuff. I think that's yeah. the thing. It, it's flexible. And there's no police that are going to, you know, she's not coming to your house and beating you over the head if you don't do something. Unless you, uh, it's well, you. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh god she'll beat the crap out of me yeah <laughs> oh i will pay for this oh no. yeah but no but like you say i think for you one that's even broader yeah. than mine would work where you're like one month is do an embroidery project yeah one month is make a bag right? yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah yep yeah so there are a couple i duplicated because like i have a lot of ornaments mm -hmm. That need to be finished so ornaments on there a couple of yeah, times yeah. i think pillows on there a couple well, of times i like times. do a piece for a gift yes you know and yeah. that can be one of your inspirational pieces uh-huh uh -huh. you know and hopefully yeah. that'll be picked before you yeah. need it but um yeah you know that kind oh, of stuff oh and then i did this is my favorite one something that shouldn't take long <laughs> <laughs> that when you finish you're like why did I wait so Why long? This I took wait? me, you know, yeah. an hour and it's done. Yeah. And it's been sitting here staring me in the face for two mm -hmm. years, you know. Oh, another one. Another one of my favorites. So, something I already started to FFO and abandoned the <laughs> FFO. I have a couple of those. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to yeah. print that off. That's a really good idea. Yeah. I just yeah. like the fact that it's, you know, like with, with the AP and Q challenge, mm -hmm. I did that for a couple of years and yeah. I did get stuff done. You got a lot done. But, but again, it was a specific work on this, um, that know. bag, work on this, you know, whereas this gives you more latitude yeah. and then you're not feeling so pressured that if you start something, it's like, I really don't like this, but yeah. I have another one that will fit that category. Yeah. We all have those kind of things. Well, good. Yeah. All right. So. Well, please join us on Instagram. If yep. you're a floss tuber, you want to talk about it, link to this video or Michelle's video or both of them, please do. And I'm not sure I've said Michelle is Penny's daughter shares both on Instagram and on floss tube. And even if it's yeah. not a cross stitch thing, you yes. know, you, you, you can, in your, when you show a picture, say, you know, I'm participating in the FFO challenge. Yeah. I have 2023. Uh, I'm I'm including knitting quilting, and knitting, quil quilting embroidery. and everything yeah. else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. ooh, maybe I could. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Now you're now. excited. Okay. Yeah. So by the time we finish this, you know what she's going to be doing. She's going to make me print this out, and I'm going to have to fill it out before she leaves. No. So yeah, no. right, right. <laughs> I don't believe that. Okay. All right. So that's the FFO stuff. Yeah. So I'm starting the year with fifty. Mm -hmm. That's also part of what's leading me to, I think I want to work on some bigger projects this year mm -hmm. so that I can actually take longer to stitch them uh -huh. so that I don't finish so many and keep that number going. Oh, yeah. 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 Because if I finish two a month, I think this last year I, I stitched 20 something items. So if I finish 24, but I add 22 back to the list, yeah. I won't yeah. feel like I've accomplished right. this. Time. Right. So. Okay. Okay. So that's the FFO challenge. Um, we're going to keep going. We still have a lot to cover. Yeah. So um, next we're going to move on and talk about haul. Would Last you time. get the picture for me? I want to show that. Yes. Okay. As long as you don't cry. Okay. You, she might cry a little. I'll try. Um, but tell them first how last time you said you had no haul. Well, I go last time I said I had no haul, and then I went downstairs and I found my in my bag when I went to Fancy Works that I went off the deep end. So I have lots of haul, but it isn't all from the last three, three weeks. weeks. It's from six weeks. So it's not terrible. But okay. um, you starting with so, this? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh. I'm going to hold it up. She's looking out the window. Again. There's a car with a blue light. Okay. Oh. Okay, my next door neighbors are wonderful and they loved the dog as much as we did. And that was my Christmas present from them. Yes. So they um, scoured Facebook yep. for several pictures of him. This is a company they used and maybe we can get the name and link yeah. it below. You can ask her. It might um, be on the... But uh, they took several pictures of him and sent them to the company and then they, they come up with the rendering of it. And I just think it's so pretty. Oh, yeah. Somebody cried when she got it, yep. which is great. I still cry once in a while. I know. I know. Yeah, I miss it's a lot. so perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, okay, now so, show me your Okay, box. so my haul. Let's see. This is, uh, let me see. Um, okay. All right, we'll start off with this. Um, I have color and cotton from two different months because I forgot to show it last time because it was there. And um, oh, yeah, this is well December. December, you got blues. Yeah. And 
they're really pretty. They are. But I'm a blue person, you know that. So. Glacier Bay, Aurora Borealis, and Ice Queen. Look at those pretty colors. Okay, this is January. Tea Berry, Kismet, and Candy Hearts. Mm. So that's really pretty. Pull them down so they can see which is which in the oh, labels. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. There. So that that was the three for January. So we have nice. them. And then... Um, I'll collect. Yeah. Um, let's see. That's back door. This was back, back door. door. This was... This is from the shop, actually. Oh, this is for you. Um, oh, thank you. Uh, this I, and I, I'm I'm really on a kind of a no buy kick since the first of the year. This came in since then, but I ordered this before the end of the year. But I, Elizabeth Ann, Liz on Elizabeth Ann and Stitch did this. And I thought it was so pretty. And you know, what do I need? More more Mill Hill things. But I just loved it. So it's the um, ornament. It's the wreath, and that could go on my whip go list. Start it a new could. ornament. Hot it dog. Could. Okay. So then um, when I went to Fancy Works. I got, well, um, I really like working with uh, petite needles and I really liked Pat Carson, but unfortunately Pat Carson is no longer with us and neither are her needles. So I got these from, they're John James, they're petites. You can't really see them in there, but they're gold plated. So I got two of those. And then Diana suggested I try these Mary Arden tapestry petites. And so these are a, a 26, which is the size I like. So we're gonna try them. And then I bought bean sprout just because it's challenging to get hold of it. Mm -hmm. So I have bean That's sprout. A good color. And then it's a nice green. Um, Classic I, color works. Bean sprout. I had this from from Persnickety, the ho ho ho. I love this pattern. And I thought, oh my gosh, that's two different things. And then I realized as I looked at the pattern, this is all stitching, all the plaid. You know, uh, I don't know why I thought I had to and find it's different by fabric. The Scarlet House. Yeah. And it's stitched with silks or DMCs. And I think this this is cream, 36 count, something or other. That sounds right, because the yeah. called for on this is a and, 40 yeah. count. And yeah. so this is this is the color, it's cream. And so that goes with that. And then I also had um Tiny Town. Oh, this is sorry. I just it's different on the front and back. Oh. So this is kind of a printed one because see, it's, oh, it's almost yeah. white on the back, but it's a cream. printed cream. Oh, I didn't cream realize that. Thank you for yeah. telling me that. Okay. So make sure you stitch it on that yeah. side. And then this one might be the same. No, this one isn't. Okay, and then I have the Halloween Tiny Town. That could be another start a new project. <laughs> Your whole board oh, is going to be start new things. And then this is Berkshire Hive 40 count. And so it's a kind of a gray. Now, this one has the um honeycomb on it oh yeah really yeah you can figure out what you bought that for do you huh. think you knew you had that when you bought it probably not okay no i didn't okay all right all right Maybe well it goes in there the wrong ones no together. i don't think so i don't know but okay. and then this is just the pattern i got because you know me uh, you're all gonna be shocked she bought this one <laughs> I don't know that I like, I'm going to do the whole year. I'm not crazy about the second one. But anyway, I have this one, like but I don't have one. fabric for it yet. Yeah. And then. Well, you might have fabric in your stash. Let's see. Then we went on my birthday. We went down to back door because yes. you get a discount. And so as I was wandering around, I saw this. It's a panel and I won't take it out, but it's a panel. And um, this is the lining for it, but they made it into a bag and it was really pretty. Yeah. So this is, this complements. There's this a the panel same. that's, there's the, the bag, bag yeah. right there. That little but, tiny yeah. picture. And then this is the backing, the lining for it, which I just love. I think it's mm -hmm. so pretty. So pretty. that goes with that. Yeah, make sure that's direct, it's directional. So yeah. you make sure yeah. it's not going sideways yeah. inside And then bag. this was a kit and it's, um, not cork, leather. but it's leather. It's leather, cool. yeah. It's not real. And leather. it's a kit that came, and it's called Ginger. Ginger. And you can see it's got and all it's the. It's by Sally Tomato. Yeah, it's got all the hardware in it, and the zipper, and the lining, and the fleece. Leather, everything. everything. Very so cool. That's that may not go on my whip go list right away. And then, I, they're in my somewhere. Uh, they're in my project stuff. These are the charms that go with the little blue and white bag. 
that I have on my, it's in my. And these are from Thimble Blossoms. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. It's a Moda thing. Yeah. And so anyway, they were, I had ordered those quite a while ago and they finally came in and I got down there yeah. to pick them up. And this is a red zipper to go with that bag. And then I bought a new seam ripper because I love these seam rippers. And then that was all from back door. And then, um, you know, I had the 2022 Somebody's charms. Been shopping. Yes, I had the 2022 charms from last year, which we could not find. And when we were on our tear apart my room, uh, campaign a couple weeks ago. And Holly generously sent us. Yes, thank you, Holly. An envelope that full, was wonderful. And then three days later. Yeah. I, <laughs> on my cutting table, buried under other stuff, lo and behold, she found my 2022 charms. So if anybody needs any, let me know because I got a lot of them. I mean, we gave some out at retreat and everything, but yeah, I still have quite yeah. a few. So I thought I'd get ahead of the game this year and I ordered 2023 charms and they came. So we'll see. Um, and then this was on. Oh, Buckle be back. Buckle be right Oh, okay. Here. Ah, okay. Um, for when you're working on your machine and you want to take off the cover that goes over the bobbin and everything, and you're using a a, a little screwdriver. screwdriver, the the little white handled one. Sometimes it's hard to get underneath. Well, they had these. Uh, this screwdriver, which is a combination Phillips head and slotted, but see how small it is. So you can hold it and turn. So anyway, I got one for my here and one for my travel. And then when I was at work yesterday, when we were upstairs counting sail loft, um, I went through the remnant bin. And uh, so I got some 28 count sand linen. I got some 28 count cashel linen cream. And these are just remnants. That was nine and a half by 11. This is six and a half by 13. This is a 28 count cashel linen black which is 12 by eight, 12 by size. eight. That's a good size. And then this is a 28 cashel lemon, lem, linen, antique ivory, nine by 13 and a half. So that'll, that'll be that something. And then this one is a 28 count cashel linen platinum, which is 21 by 11. Yeah. So those are just good, you know, when I'm working on my whip go and I need good. a small piece of fabric. <laughs> yeah, okay. so we're there. Right. Okay, so that's my haul. I kind of went off okay. the deep end. I'm like, I don't know why. But... These are quilting. Okay, okay, so my yeah. haul is a lot of Christmas present stuff and then a couple purchases. So last time, <laughs> one of mom's finishes was my Christmas present. So you saw a picture of these, but this time you get to see the actual towels. So she embroidered these towels. There's three of them. This one says Christmas and this one says believe and this one says cheer so those are great towels i got the towels from amazon and they come in a six pack so it's great um you know i might do up a few of them so that i have yeah. them for, ready for next year instead of waiting until oh, christmas morning uh. and then um we so Usually, we don't even talk about this My mom part. and my husband get me different gifts, but some years they get me the same gifts. So Usually he checks with me the day before Christmas to find out what I got her. This year, he did he not did do that. He did his own shopping. He was being so, so the efficient. The first thing I got was the Martelli rotary cutter. And this is specifically the left-handed because I'm a lefty. And you hold this rotary cutter. No, what? I don't know. Some other way. Paula, you might have to train me on how to do this. My friend Paula had one at our quilt retreat, and she said it's great for wrist, like your wrist and your hand don't get tired like they do, because when you hold a normal rotary cutter, you have to twist strange, and this one you just go straight and dry. So I think it's cool. We're going to try it. And then I wound up with two frosted pumpkin patterns, So the and they're both the National Parks ones. So this one is greetings from the National Parks. This is cross-stitch. Yes. Yeah. And um, I've been to Arches, Grand Teton, Grand Canyon. Yep, so I've been to half of these. So I'm kind of thinking I might stitch them as I've been to them, but we'll see. And then the other one I got was the National Parks birthday. If you don't know, I love National Parks. Um, 
from the Frosted Pumpkin. And this one she did, or they did on the 100th anniversary of the National Parks. And so that is a very cool pattern too. And I'm looking forward to stitching both of those. And then, let, let me just explain that normally we, my husband and I go down to their house because they're very close on Christmas morning and oh. they open presents. So this year it was, you know, awful weather and everything. So yeah. we just FaceTime. So I'm lying there watching them open their presents and she opens this one and she picks this up and she said, oh, how nice. And I was like, are you kidding me, Michael? <laughs> that is what I got her. So I thought, okay. I won't kill him yet. The next thing I know, she holds up this and said, oh, and I wanted this pattern. And I was like, you've got to be joking. Um, I didn't quite say that, um, but <laughs> I was a little. So when she came to open her Christmas presents, she opened the towels, which I had to make because I had nothing else to give her because the, the mm -hmm. rotary cutter that I bought her was back, was, you know, delayed. And of course the pattern. So I, I sent her the pattern. It was a PDF. So I told her as she was opening presents, I said, check your email. And she said, oh, thanks. I said, yeah, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're working that out now, but it was quite a shock to find out yes. that he had actually planned ahead and ordered all the damn stuff that I yes. ordered. <laughs> yeah. It was very nice of him. Very nice of him. Yes. He's a good guy. He went off the list. But I was ready to always do. I was ready so. to kill him on Christmas morning. Yeah. <laughs> One thing I wanted to highlight, which I didn't know about until I got these patterns, which I think is super cool from Frosted Pumpkin, and I'm guessing they do this on all of theirs. They include a skin tone customization oh, chart. Oh, nice. Because you know what happens on most cross stitches? All your people are the same color. And there's some like some version of white, right? Yep, yep. And these are DMC and Cosmo colors. And I think this is so cool because I don't know about you, but when I go places, I see people with tons of different skin tones. Well, it represents and our it whole represents, country, our whole world. Yes. So I am so looking forward to using some of these That's skin wonderful. tones in my yes. two pieces that I just got. Yeah. And then I had some fun on Etsy right before the end of the year. And I bought the Whip Go charts that I showed you before. She also has several other like planners and floss tube trackers and things like that. So again, we'll link the Naptime Stitcher store. But then I went to um, Stitchy Princess Black. So a lot of you may have heard of her. She is a Ukrainian designer. And again, I'll link her store below. She was moving into a new apartment. She has been displaced as a result of the war. And um kind of put a plea out and said if anybody can purchase patterns this weekend it's going to go to replenishing our home so you know you think of everything you need in a home dishes and mm. linens and beds and chairs and tables so I found this little pattern um what is it called snow snowman and snow girl and I thought they were so cute um and it'll be great to put up after Christmas and keep up through winter I think it'll be nice if she makes it for somebody who really likes snow people. I mean, maybe she will. So I got that one and I got two other patterns that didn't have a picture. So they, when you download them, it was just the pattern. They also both have bad words. Um, so I'm not going to show them here. I will probably show them when I stitch them. I might just put a post-it over the bad uh. words. Um, and then, but I had a good time on Etsy and I thought I need to shop on Etsy more. That's also when I bought my temperature chart. Um, we don't have enough projects. We need to find more. No. And then right around New Year's, uh, Silver Creek Samplers released this free pattern, which is available on her website. I can and I will. And you know what that seems like to me? One of your seems inspirational Seems like an inspirational stitches. stitch. Perfect. So I thought this was very cool. Perfect. And I think I'm going to stitch it because I know who will receive it. I think I'm going to stitch it on black with like some hot pink and oh, bright yeah. blue oh, or something to like pop so yeah anyway the person who's going to receive this often has green hair so i figured we can go fun with the stitch <laughs> um and then one gift that my husband didn't buy me that my mom did this isn't stitching related but it's still super cute is this little reindeer and you turn him on and he changes colors and she loves snowmen, and I love reindeer. And so this is super cute, and this is going to go on my mantle uh, over the holidays. So, yeah, so that was a fun one. Um, and then the last gift thing I have, or haul thing, my friend Chris made us little Oh, that's the one bags. she made. Yes, and she's so funny because she and I both sew. 
Um, but she said, I'm so, so intimidated. Like I was so nervous to give you a gift. And so she said, don't look closely at the others. I gave you the best bag because <laughs> there are, there are several of us who hang out together. So this is a pattern, um, that she got online. She just Googled a little, um, toiletry bag and then she filled it up with all kinds of first aid stuff. And so there's band-aids and neosporin and, um, shampoo and it's just a cute little toiletry oh bag God, and it's yeah. made with um rosebud motel fabric from the tv show Shits creek which is hysterical and mike and i watched that through the pandemic so great size for a little toiletry yeah, bag and perfect. she filled it up with everything so that's awesome oh one more gift my last gift arrived in my hands <laughs> thursday um, it was, he paid for expedited shipping and it got stuck got in, the in the storm, storm so yes. it didn't come until last week. So I had asked for some themed t-shirts and so my seen it. husband got me, if you see a seam ripper, now is not a good time. Cute. Yeah. And it's a super soft t-shirt. So I didn't this see it. This one will definitely it. go to retreat. Oh yeah. This will be a retreat shirt. Yeah, that's perfect. So yes. Perfect. Um, and the kids laugh. They thought it was so funny. I think it's funny too. Oh, and one more bag of haul. <laughs> when we went down to back door, um, I so this project, delightful duffel by Shy Town, Shy Town Designs. Um, we bought at a quilt shop in Illinois that we're not going to remember. I'm thinking of it. I can see it's a PF. Um, anyway. If Paula, it, you know what it is. Yeah. Just put it in the comments. Just tell us in the comments where you took us, Paula. It was an amazing shop. Oh, it was wonderful. And so we both oh, bought, bought this. And mom bought all the supplies to make the duffel bag. And I told her, because she's she doesn't like to make complicated bags. Yeah. Um, I told her, like, if you buy the stuff, I'll make the bag. And I bought some of the stuff, but not all of it. Because I was like, oh, I probably have fabric at home. And then I never found fabric at home. So when we were going down to back door, I told my daughter, I said, I will make you a duffel bag as part of your um, graduation gift so that she has a duffel bag at college. So she picked out, and I paid for, this fabric for the lining. The bubbles. The bubbles. And this for the main fabric and I think that's a Lori Holt and then we found this grunge to be the accent fabric so perfect it'll be the handles and all that stuff perfect. and then this will be the lining and so I got the stuff to make this and um we need to get yours and get mine and I mm -hmm. need to pre-quilt the fabric so I yes. can cut them out yeah. and we can put it together and then I have in my big project bag, all the other stuff, the zipper and the all that stuff you need. And I have oh, all I mine need to together. look for mesh before I. Oh yeah, I've got yeah. mesh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Um, yeah. So that's all our haul. Yeah, we did a lot. Yeah, considering we weren't going to spend any money this month, but all of it's before. It was all before, before the first of the year, of pretty the year. much. Yeah, most of it. Now we're now yeah. we're stitching and quilting our stash for a while. Yeah, yeah. I have some okay. quilting. Okay. All right. We're, so we're keeping going. I see that timer clicking up. I don't think we've had a video this long, but I hope you guys are sticking with us. Yeah. All right. So this, quilt, I told you in our last episode that I wanted to finish one more quilt project before the end of the year. I finished two because I always uh, overachieve, I guess. Um, <laughs> since a young age, oh, somebody yeah. taught me well. Um, and the second one you're not going to see because it's going to be our quilt to the show next show. Oh, okay. But this one you're going to see. This is Mini Blossom by Fig Tree Quilts. And you saw the top earlier this year, or earlier in 2022, because I made this on Labor Day weekend when we were sewing together. Mm -hmm. And I was looking at yeah. this. This has been on my design wall. And I was looking at it one day and I'm like, this is not a hard quilt to quilt because the fabrics are so busy. You don't need You much. don't need fancy quilting. So I threw it on the quilt frame and I did a bunch of loops around. Actually, you can back, see yeah. from the back better. I found this backing fabric in my stash. So I just did loops all over. Really I put a cute. hanging sleeve on it and that sucker is done. And, and I love it. It's sewing themed fabric and it's going to go up in my sewing room. So yay! Yep. And then when I was putting away the fabric for that, I was like, you know, 
Nicola from Bumble Stitches and Elizabeth Ann have done patchwork project bags and I think I have enough patches left to make a patchwork project bag. So I made my first one and I just used, um, it had used mini charms for that quilt and so I used the leftover and I had to cut a few new ones. So that's my patchwork project bag and that's the backing fabric and the lining. Oh, is what I used on the back. So that's all ready for a new project. No, the lining is not what you used on the back. On the back of oh, that the quilt. Oh, the back of the quilt. Yeah. The back okay. of the quilt. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Not the back of the project bag. The back of the quilt. Okay. So that was fun. It was, this was a fun one to make. And you do it on interfacing. You mm -hmm. can get the gridded interfacing. Oh, yeah. I just had interfacing. So I just threw it on there. And then you, you sew it yeah. on the interfacing. It's so easy. So And it gives it a little little heft yeah in the bag. oh that's good so that was all my sewing for the end okay. of the year and yeah. you have some, have some sewing and some knitting okay this is a bag that i made and it's like the the ones we did last year at retreat yeah and uh unfortunately it's like i quilt as you go quilt as you go it's I a joan it's called Re jane Ta joan Becca? taylor june taylor june taylor and um it's uh it's you can turn I it think around it's too. called the Rebecca bag. Yeah, and I it's a it's a kit. It or, comes with yeah. the the batting, and it's got all the marks on it, and that's how you sew it. It's a yeah. you flip it as you sew, and so I have the the straps to put on, and one of them I kind of mucked it up, so I'm taking it apart. But this and I'll is a gift. It. So this but this will is be a gift, so it'll be gone the next episode. time. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, this was on my to do list that I had on my phone. It wasn't even on my project list is I've had this flag done and Jennifer quilted it forever. And all it needed, I did a faced binding on it. So all it needed was a sleeve. And so when we were on our, our clean up my bench. room. We, oh, they I, still need a, a pin in it. Oh, okay. Sorry about <laughs> now that. Now it's out. <laughs> okay. I, um, your sleeve? I went ahead and I saw that piece of fabric and it was long enough. And yeah. so I sewed it up and then I took it to B last week and I finished it and it's done. It's done, Yay. done, done. So that's good. Yeah. And knitting. You've been and knitting. Been knitting. I've been knitting. And, um, you know, I made the scarf for my friend. And I had enough left over. And somebody I know likes purple. purple. So A couple well, people you know like yeah, purple. There yeah. were several that commented. Yeah. And so I made this Sorry. again. And yeah. so it needs to be 36 inches. And I think right now it's... 29 or 30 but it's a it's it's, it's only four rows Shows in the pattern it does, you have to oh, take yeah. it back yeah, there and that'll show the pattern do, yeah uh there's four rows in the pattern and it's really quick so sometimes you know like before i go to bed if i'm watching the news or something i'll just kind of sit there and yeah. and you know or i take it when i go to the doctor's office or something yeah. like that and and i've got you know because it's only 38 stitches so it goes very quickly so that's that and then shocking my socks i finished turning the heel and i'm into the foot so these will be done before we come back again okay so that will be finished and then I oh can... you forgot your big haul oh, maybe the biggest the haul. biggest haul. Yeah. <laughs> okay. um i have two machines in my room one over here and one over here and the one on the right is kind of a guest machine although i use it i used it when i was finishing the big Binding, quilt and everything yeah. but underneath it I have gotten in the bad habit of putting my knitting purchases and it got to the point where my knitting purchases were really not doing well. So I got on the internet because they had, Joanne's, right? they had a, a, you know, their organizing sale and I ordered these bins, which are great. The part I like the best is it's a drawer. It's not a lift up and they stack. So I ordered, in theory, they close. yeah. I ordered two of them, and I'm not quite sure why, whether the, the organization, organization gods were shining down on me or what, but I got six. And I thought, what am I going to do with six? Well, guess what? Four of them are chocolate block full, and the other two are going to be chocolate block full. Plus, I ordered a, two smaller ones that are about it's this high, like and they sit on top. They, yeah. all, they all um, stack, and that I've kind of put like little ditzy stuff in needles yeah. or you know uh, uh measuring measuring tape, tape that kind of stuff markers and so i can like i can just pull it out and look at it and it looks so much better over there it's really shocking remember so. was it last year that i played the game oh, of yeah. let's grab a bag and yeah. well she picked up all the bags now you guys yeah 
so, they're all organized. Yeah. It's really kind of scary. So yeah, that's that was my my shocking purchase. Yeah. Shocking. Shocking. All right. Well, let's talk about 2023 plans yeah. and then we have a giveaway and we'll remind you of our question. So why don't you tell them um what your plans are for Okay, for 2023, hopefully I will get rid of this kidney stone one way or the other. <laughs> Uh, I go back in a couple of weeks for a CT scan, and I guess we'll decide if we're just going to let it cook a little while or if we're going to go in and extract it. Um, I've had extractions before. They're not a big deal. Um, and then while we were in the emergency room, since I was kind of a captive audience with an IV in my arm, and um, uh, somebody said, oh, I, I have my paper. I just to have my notebook. <laughs> so we did up my list for 2023. So my quilting list... Um, I won't read them all off, but there's nine things on my quilting list. and We did number nine, which we, was clean up the, the sewing, sewing room. room. Yeah, okay, so we got that first done. And then my knitting list for 2022 are, only has six, and one of them was start the second purple scarf, which I'm almost finished with, so yeah. that's done. And then my list for 2023 for stitching has 11 things on it, and one of them is backstitch the sushi cat, and that's done. Yeah. So now I have 10 things to do, and I can check that sucker off. Well, and these so. could transfer to a WIPCO board. If yes, you they certainly could. That. They yeah. certainly could. Yeah. So, yeah. So I'm getting um, kind of, I can't say excited about all this you stuff. You do. We started to talk, and you do really well with I do well with lists. lists. I'm, I'm much like better a with a list, list. And you like to cross things off and yep. call them done. Yep. So, so, again, it's about finding what works for mm -hmm. you. So, so if I do the WIPCO and build on these lists, I've got plenty to put on a WIPCO board. Yeah. So we'll see. In six months, we'll check back and we see will. where I am. We'll talk about it throughout the year. <laughs> yeah. So for me, I kind of shared all my plans already. I'm going to do the WIPCO as the vehicle to FFO more things. I am going to try and stitch my stash. I actually brought some, but maybe I'll show them next time of some of the things that I want to stitch over the course of this year. Um, I, I started again, I started a list cause I pulled things out and I found, uh, 15 things. I'll just flash this up projects that I want to start soon. And I went through, I haven't kitted up threads, but I kitted up linens or fabrics and you can see the ones with the pluses I need to get fabric for. So we'll have some opportunities, hopefully to go shopping, do some fabric shopping, um, both at our local shop and other shops this year. And so um, there's 15 items on there that I would like to, I just said to start soon. So it could mm -hmm. be, soon could be weeks mm -hmm. or months or maybe years. And December you know what, 31st. I'll refresh this in a year and some of these will be done yeah. and some of them yeah. will, um, will not. So, uh, and then I'm going to continue on Instagram. I post every Sunday morning, my Sunday morning stitching. Again, I would love to have you guys join me over there. Even if you're not stitching on Sunday morning, you know, if it's afternoon or evening, just hashtag it Sunday morning stitching. Love to see what you're stitching. That's kind of my my thing. My husband and I watch CBS Sunday morning, every Sunday morning. Yes, yeah, somebody got her addicted to that when she was young. Somebody did. And, um, and I sit show. and stitch and it's great. And then I usually roll right into watching floss tubes. So that's fun. <laughs> I usually don't get up until morning is over, but um I'm going to do that. I'm going to continue with stash reporting that I talked about earlier, tracking how much stash I bring in versus how much I use. And I'm going to I'm going to continue to work on this APQ UFO challenge. I showed you guys this before. I have nine projects that are UFOs. I'm sure I will create some new ones this year, but I'd love to get a couple of those off the list. And we're heading to a retreat in Chipshawana in March, May. Not so, me. Remember. Oh, that's right. You're not, not going. going this year oh, okay. of graduation yeah. stuff. So. Well, I'm going, so hopefully yeah. I'll do something. I there. might still take a day or two off and maybe yeah. I'll sew at yeah. home a little yeah. bit. Yeah. But yeah. but maybe also we'll find a weekend that we can do a sewing yeah. weekend. Yeah, so, yeah. we've done yeah. those in the past. They've yeah. been a lot of fun. Because... Most of my projects, all but three, um, are finished tops that need to be quilted sometimes that's where i stall because i'm like i don't know how i want to quilt it and i have a bunch of those too put mm -hmm. away so <laughs> it's like fo's for quilting yeah so yeah that's usually what i need to focus on is the quilting yeah. so um you want to do a giveaway let's do a giveaway yes. to celebrate 2023 and our ambitious plans for this year. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll send you we'll send something off to you guys so you can join our ambitious plans. Yes. 
Okay, the first one is was sent to us by one of our viewers. Yeah. It's Farmhouse Christmas by Little House Needleworks, and it's Dairy Darlin'. And so um, for this one, if you're interested in this pattern, we'll ship this globally. Just use the word dairy in your comment. Yep, D-A-R-I-R-Y. -I -I yes. Dairy, yeah. Okay. Cute little winter scene with the cow. Okay. Okay, then the next one, and yeah, I'm giving this away, don't faint. But this is a kit by Debbie Mum, and it's called Keep the Spirit, and it's really cute. Yeah, really cute, and it comes with all the floss and the fabric. And let's see what kind of fabric it is. Fourteen count, count denim Ada. So it is a blue Ada, but all the flosses too. And yeah. this one, we are going to have to limit this to U.S. because global shipping costs have gotten so high oh, for yeah. things that don't go in an envelope. So if you're interested in this one, um, use the word spirit. S P I R I T, um, and we will get this out to someone in the U.S. Okay, and then the third one, um, I don't know if I've made this or not. I stitched it. That's you stitched it. it. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, and this is a um, imagining, imagining, and it's called "Let There Be Peace." Yeah. And so that that we will send anywhere. Yep. And so if you like this one, how about the, the word is peace. Peace. So and cute. this one does not have the button with it, but these shouldn't be too hard to find a star button. Uh, when I stitched this, it was it came as a kit, and I stitched it on oatmeal Ada, and it looks great because the white shows up, and it's just really pretty. And I just saw on Instagram somebody stitching this right now and said they had to quit in all this blue. They were done with all that. But The other um, thing is to do it on a blue. Do it on a blue. And then you don't have yeah. to stitch all that but blue. then you got to stitch this stuff. So anyway, yeah. it's it's a super cute pattern. So, yes. so it's a daisy for number one, da da dairy, da dairy huh, for number one, spirit, spirit for number two, and, and peace, peace for number three. Yes. So, and put your answer in the comments section. Do yes. not send us an email. Um, yep. You know, don't send us an IM on Messenger or anything because we don't pull it off Those, of there. We yeah. only pull it off the of the comments. The random comment generator pulls yeah. from our yeah. comments. So. And um, you guys know the rules, but... Number one, you have to be over 18 to send us your address. And uh, number two, please don't use any of the keywords that'll bring spammers over, mm -hmm. like giveaway, free, prize, things yeah. like that. Yeah. So, all right. Well, I think last thing is a reminder that our question for you today is how many finished but not FFO'd. Let's go with stitched projects. And those of you who are quilters, if you want to give us another number for quilting, we'll take both of those <laughs> numbers as well. Um, plans for the next few weeks? Um, you're going to work on that list, aren't you? Yeah, I'm going to yeah. work on that list. I'm going to finish yeah. putting this yarn away in my, all my bins. In your bins. I bought, I thought I ordered, uh, you know, by ordering two, I would have more than enough. And I've got four full, full. and more stuff yeah. that'll fill up probably the other two. And that doesn't count what's in my closet. We won't tell her about that. Okay. But <laughs> I'm going to do some more finishing on this long weekend. I hope I to finish. I'm going to try yeah. and get a quilt back made for that APQ challenge. Um, and I'm probably going to start a new project mm. between one or two between now and our next episode. Looking forward to it. That'll be great. Yeah. So you can find us on Instagram. I'm at Jen Quilter. You are at Grand Stitches. And um, if you enjoyed your time with us today, please hit that subscribe button and that like button. Leave us yep. a comment and we will be back in three weeks with lots more fun, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> and a fancy new quilt that I just finished. Um, and we look forward to engaging with you guys in the comments yes. and thank you very much for the time that you spend with us yes. so everybody have a great january yep. and happy uh, new year happy stitching and happy stitching talk to you soon bye, bye.